एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई क्रिएटेड दिस एवरीडे नेचुरल काइंड ऑफ मेकअप लुक सो इफ यू वांट टू नो हाउ आई गॉट दिस लुक प्लीज कीप ऑन वाचिंग सो फर्स्ट आई एम यूजिंग दिस प्रोफेशनल प्राइमर एंड अप्लाइंग इट अराउंड माय नोज एरिया वेयर आई हैव सम ओपन पोर्स यू कैन टोटली स्किप दिस स्टेप देन आई एम टेकिंग द मैक स्ट्रोक क्रीम इन द शेड पिंक लाइट एंड आई एम अप्लाइंग इट ऑन द हाईएस्ट पॉइंट्स ऑफ माय फेस फॉर अ नेचुरल ग्लो आई रियली लाइक दिस क्रीम इट गिव्स यू काइंड ऑफ अ ग्लो फ्रॉम विदिन आई एम स्माइलिंग टू much throughout this video that's because i had shot this video just for instagram but i thought of putting it on youtube too next i'm going to apply some concealer and for that i'm using the mac studio finish concealer in the shade nc42 and i'm applying this concealer under my eyes where i have some darkness and also some spots on my face you can skip this step if you don't need the concealer or if you don't want to put it Now to set the concealer in place I'm using this loose powder by Maybelline and I'm taking it on this tiny brush and dusting off the excess and I'm applying little bit of the powder to the places where I applied the concealer you can even apply it all over your face it gives a little bit of coverage but since I want a glowy look I don't want a matte look that's why I'm not applying this powder all over my face you can also apply it on your T zone if you get oily there next I'm going to take this Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette and using this dark brown shade over here and using it to fill in my eyebrows i'm using the small angled brush filling in the eyebrows makes such a huge difference as you can see my eyebrows look much better than before now i'm just blending the color together with this spoolie so that it looks really natural next i'm taking this shimmery shade and applying it in my inner corner and i'm also applying a little bit in the inner half i love doing this it makes your eyes pop and it makes them look a little bit bigger and looks really pretty next i'm going to apply some mascara it comes with a lash primer on one side so i'm going to use that first it makes your lashes look longer and fuller and since i have really small lashes i really like how this makes my lashes look so usually after i apply this primer i let it dry for a few seconds before i apply the mascara so this is the finished look thank you so much for watching just kidding now I'm to apply the mascara which is on the other side i'm applying it both on the upper and lower lashes applying mascara on your lower lashes too makes such a huge difference ever since i started doing that i can't stop i should not put it before i should not like it but i've realized that it really makes your eyes look much much better it can be a little bit tricky especially if you have small lashes but just take your time to do it otherwise it can look really clumpy if you apply too much of it next i'm going to use some benetint i've made a detailed review on this product so in case you want to check it out i'll just leave it in the description box below so i'm using it on my cheeks and i'm blending it out with my fingers i apply 2 to 3 layers of it and it really depends on how much intensity you want you can build it up depending on your skin tone so i apply too much on my left cheek and as you can see it's literally dripping so to even it out i'm just applying it on the other cheek i don't mind too much blush i love to apply blush so a few days back i applied too much blush to office and i did not realize it's too much because at home the lighting wasn't proper so in office it's really bright and everybody was staring at me it was really embarrassing i looked like a clown basically i'm also applying the benetint on my lips it gives a really nice uh, natural looking pink tint Next I'm going to use this lipstick by Nykaa. This is the Nykaa Ultra Matte lipstick in the shade Nefertiti. I really love this lipstick. It's a perfect dupe for MAC lipsticks. The finish and the feel of it, it's uh, so much similar and it even smells like it. And this is such a pretty shade. I wanted a little bit of peachy nude. That's why I'm applying little bit on my lips. I'm just dabbing it and blending it out since I don't want too much of it. Did you guys like the reverse editing which I did while showing the product so i tried to do that again and it really fell down so i'm taking this benefit hula bronzer and applying it on the sides of my face and i'm using the same brush which comes with it so i'm not a big fan of this brush but since i forgot my other brush which i usually use i'm just using it i was too lazy to get up and get that brush then i'm just spritzing some mac fix plus i really like how it makes my makeup look especially if you have applied powders it just melts it down and it doesn't make your makeup look cakey 
sticky so i wanted to apply highlighter before the spray but i forgot to do so so i'm just applying it now i'm taking the mac stroke cream and applying it on the highest points of my cheeks as you can see my skin is glowing it's looking really natural kind of glow from within kind of a look look at that so this is the finished look thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i upload new videos every saturday Yes, not Wednesday. From now on, I'm going to upload new videos just once per week instead of twice per week. I've posted this on my Instagram and I've also told the reason why I'm doing this. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!